everyone and welcome you know, to the last video or the first of the last videos of Let's Play Tomb Raider Legends, or at least the story because I'm still going to make extra videos. And let's resume the game and get started with Bolivia Re Redux. I'm gonna need a clear head for this, lads. No distractions, please. Good luck. Anyone between me and that stone dies. Stop. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it will if you come any closer. Kill her. <laughs> yeah. Now we're here just keep spamming the attack and everything should die. Just like Laura says. Oh, no, we've got a Gatling gun. Oh. Okay. That's one thing to be careful of. Whilst you're attacking with Excalibur, you can't jump. Or it's hard to jump. And what the heck was that? I need medkits. Is there a sniper or something? Oh, Gatling gun. James. Amanda. See you. James. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amanda. Truly. Now she did warn him. What are you doing? Stay away from there. It's what I came for. You don't need that. We can both do this. It only works once, and I'm going to be the one. And here the true fight starts. Now we're fighting the uh, unknown entity. And it has quite a lot stronger. Especially since it's merged with uh, Amanda and its prison. I'd suggest you dodge first and attack second. Oh. It has that pound attack where it hits its fist on the ground. And and an explosion will occur where you are. It can also throw. Yeah, it can also throw an energy bolt with both hands. Ah, here we go. Once you get its health down a certain part, you can move in for them to attack him, to stab him. You will regenerate health, but not to the maximum amount. Okay, yeah, that's the main one of the main problems with this for the main thing you want to be careful of stay away from the ledge ah, Come on Don't don't just continuously attack you will come on the ass was juggling me If you continuously attack he will you know, dodge most of the attacks ah. Just launch an attack every now and then, just keep jumping around, and you should hit him every now and then. Don't- oh, it seemed like it got stuck there for a second. Oh. Run. Oh, that seemed like a new attack. Uh, luckily I interrupted. As far as I know, he has two to three attacks. The fist pound, the toss, and perhaps another one that I've forgotten. But you do have to and uh, you must say that this is a pretty uh, cool battle. Laura fighting an unknown demon, yeah, a demon just playing, with the freaking Excalibur, the Blade of Legends. Sword of Legends. Whatever, blade and sword is often used. 
start the same thing. Now out of med kits. Okay. Here we go again. Just keep attacking him until his health is completely gone. I believe as the more he gets wounded, the faster he attacks. It definitely seems like it. So you definitely want to be careful, especially since you can easily run out of medkits from his attacks. Luckily, that toss attack can be blocked by physical structures. And Excalibur strikes don't seem to be blocked by uh, uh, most structures in this place. Now, ah, too late. Now uh, you have to be fast with that, else the, uh, the demon will recover. Okay, just launch a volley and then start dodging attack and dodging again. What 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 the hell happened there? Okay, I'm definitely going to speed parts of this up. <clears throat> Depending on how long this video takes, because I'll probably keep the credits and such for a separate video. I'll edit that into a separate video, but it also depends on how long I take to kill this freaking thing. Ah, there we go. Quick, quick, quick. You don't want to be too far away of, of the demon because of that. Yeah, if you're too far away, he will recover before you can deliver the fatal of the wounding blow, I'll stay, I'll call it. But if you're too close, his, his attacks like that one can much easier go hit you much uh, easier. I'd say hanging around this place is the best, because his attacks will be blocked by the pillars. Just a bit more. Come on. Stand still and die. There we go. Okay, I believe two more times and then he's gone. Ah, come on, that's... That fist pound is his most dangerous attack because it, can't be only, it can only be done us. Oh, that was fast. Okay. One more time, I think. Ah, come on. Definitely going much faster now. Out of mess again. There we go, the final time.
to me. It'll explode unless you pull out the sword! Oh, God! Understand. I'm wasting my breath. From this moment, your every breath is a gift from me. Laura? For years, my father believed Mother was alive. It was what kept him going. I pitied him for thinking that way. Alistair, go to the British Museum immediately. Ring me when you get there. Dress in layers. You'll be there a while. Right. I'm off. Zip, call Professor Eddington at the Cavendish Laboratory. Arrange a meeting. Will do. What should I tell him? Tell him... Tell him my father was right about everything. And there may still be time to do something about it. And that's it. That was Tomb Raider Legend. A short game, that's for sure. I've uh, recorded everything in about a week or so. Uh, a bit more, probably. And yeah, a short game, but a very good story, if you ask me. Especially that last part. Yeah, I, the first time I saw that, I thought, uh, yeah, Amanda's dead. But, yeah. <clears throat> My thoughts? Good game, yeah. It's it has a, you know, a few flaws. The controls uh, are a bit annoying at times, and that seems to want to send you in somewhere you, and you don't want to. Uh, during anniversary, I think uh, I talked about uh, one of the other two games having a bit clunkier the controls than anniversary itself, and that was Legend. Uh, don't know if Underworld has the same thing. No, I think not. I think Underworld. Now, Underworld is a bit of a combination between Anniversary and Legend, and some of the best parts of that. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that will have to wait for uh, when I'm done with uh, Phantom Hourglass. After that, I'll get started with Underworld and finish my trilogy of the uh, modern or the uh, yeah the modern Tomb Raider games. Now that I think about it, I'll probably also, at one point, make a let's play of uh, Laura Croft and the uh, Guardian of Light. Not really a Tomb Raider game, but well, uh, everything with Laura Croft is Tomb Raider. Though not the original Tomb Raider style. But these these last three aren't really in the same Tomb Raider style as uh, the original, you know, original five or six. <coughs> so yeah, it... It'll be a while where from when I up from when I'm recording this to when I'm uploading it because now it's Saturday, April 9th, uh, and this will probably be uploaded uh, in a week or so. So there's still quite some time for people to uh, uh, now. By the time this has been uploaded, there was still plenty of time for people to uh, vote in my 250 subscriber special. Last time I checked, most votes were still for Crisis. Yeah, but, uh, but I've seen votes for Sonic Heroes, uh, yeah, that Moreno guy, that's a friend of my younger brother, and his English isn't really that good, and his understanding uh, either. Ah, yeah, the voice actors. Keely Haas, Zip, Alex Desert, I'll have to look that guy up, because I like Zip's character, and I, I'm curious as to what other characters he voiced. <clears throat> 
but yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll have to make some uh, test videos to see at how I can run prices the best compared to uh, the narrator was Alistair. Oh, for a second I thought the narrator and uh, Alistair was voiced by the same guy, but <laughs> the, very, uh, the voice act, you know, the narrator is voiced by a guy named Alistair. Maybe they named Alistair after his after that guy. I know for a vac in fact that Zip was uh, was uh, introduced a l quite a lot earlier than well, this. This game was the point where Alistair got introduced, I I believe. I'm pretty sure of that. Zip, he uh, first appeared in Tomb Raider Chronicles, in the last stage, I believe, uh, where in uh, Laura broke into some corporate building, and Lo Zip was her uh, tech guy, and <clears throat> and a bit of product placement that was throughout the games. I felt like putting boxes around it uh, in the editing, and then putting some uh, putting uh, subtle next to it. Like, a, yeah, real subtle with the product placement, but I didn't think it was that uh, intrusive. I don't think we'll... S yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no product placement or have references or just just winks to their uh, certain brands. I think Underworld is clear of those. <clears throat> yeah, sorry for clearing my throat so much. I need to, uh, I need a drink. Let's see. Yeah, seeing as we're getting to the special thanks, we're as good as done with. Oh no, <laughs> there's another pro. Uh, there's other uh, people listed. So yeah, what's next? Uh, Tim van Kloster. That's uh, that's a Dutch name, I'm pretty sure. Niels J. De Witt. Then Becker. Janssen. That's a typical Dutch last name. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we're at the something to talk about, or should I just shut up and let uh, these people get their uh, names listed? Oh, this mu this is the music from a. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is the music from the Peru uh, motorcycle stage. It's good on it's decent on its own, but not really something I'd. Uh, choose for a motorcycle stage. We have the music. It's uh, Tomb Raider is quite good with its music. Okay, I looked away for a second. And it's uh, and it seemed like it sped up and it sped sped up or, or something. Uh, it might have been a glitch or an optical illusion. So a bit to recap, now that I'm done with uh, this game I can concentrate more on Phantom Hourglass and get, uh, get, get started again with testing that Cam Studio program which I still haven't gotten to work. I've gotten it to record the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, from the emulator itself and the ROM but I can't seem to combine it with the microphone. And the sole reason I want to try and get that uh, Game Studio program to work is so that I can make uh, continue that Let's Play with post com uh, uh, with live commentary instead of post commentary because I I really suck at post commentary. I just don't have anything to talk about. I can't think of anything to talk about. And yeah, my life's not that exciting. That's why I make Let's Plays. Lots, a lot of people that worked on this, huh? A lot. But I think we're finally getting to the end of it all. Testers again. Is it looping? Is it seriously looping? Or let, I'll keep an eye out. Uh, if, if this is looping, you're just wasting my and your, your people's time. Uh, I think it's done. Music stopped for good, it seems. So we're, yes, yeah, so we're done. No special thanks or thank you for playing at the end. That's a bit of a down. Okay, now it's looping. Thank you. 
Congratulations, you've unlocked some secret items. Check out the extras menu to, uh, to view the following awards. Special, cinematics, and object models. So, yeah, game finished. Quit. And, it, oh, what the heck? 5%. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I almost forgot there's also still Craft Manor. We've gotten all the... Uh, we've gotten all the rewards for each level. Mm, you haven't completed any time trials, but I don't think there's anything to gain from time trials. I'll have to look that up. And yeah, with extras, we've got all cinematics, it seems, 60 of the 60. Yes. Character profiles is still some missing, it's probably because those need to be unlocked uh, through well, Craft Manor. Uh, location concepts, that last one was the Craft Manor. Uh, object models for every place we've been. Outfits, not all of them again. Uh, <coughs> Most of these outfits are recolors, like here's Legend, here's Legend Union Jack, Legend Blue, Legend Pink, Biker, Red Jacket Biker, No Jacket, Evening Ripped, Evening Red, Classic and Classic Grey, Winter, Winter No Coat, Winter Orange, Winter Orange No Coat, and Catsuit, that's a new one. I believe this might be from Chronicles. And the level I just described for where Zip was introduced, it's, it seems very similar to me. Snow suit, so it, I don't see how such a suit really works which, uh, to protect from the cold. Special forces, special forces urban, but I don't see the use of snow, comic, snow camouflage in the urban areas. And sport, which is from a cloth manner. So, and special uh, cheat codes. Uh, and of course is mishaps videos which is just a couple of failure what a couple of things that happen when you fail the when you fail the uh, quick time events like that I, I'll probably make a video with all the failures um, a failure video just to see show what happens. Yeah, the one with the, you know, on the train was pretty funny. And cut down to size. We've seen... Oh, we didn't see that one. We saw Laura get blown up. Ah, crushed by the train. And going down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This might be all the... Ow. This might be all of the... Uh, failures. I'll have to look again at eh? fish food. I'll check out. Yeah, I think that was all of the thing. No, 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 no. That wasn't everything that happens when you uh, fail each part of a quick time event. So I'll, I might, yeah, I'll probably make a separate video of that. But for now, this has been the story, uh, vid the last story video for Tomb Raider Legends. Next time I'll be going through Craft Manor and after that we'll get to the extras and after well, the last extra will be a, a failures video. So thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed the story of Tomb Raider Legend. I'll see you all next time for Craft Manor but until then have a nice day and goodbye.